Now let's discuss Act 2. So in this act, there are only two scenes. Now, in scene 1, we learn that Polonius decides to send Rinaldo to France and he has asked Rinaldo to go in order for him to spy on his son Laertes, okay? Then, in scene 1, we learn also that Hamlet visits Ophelia and this is of course after Ophelia has basically told him that they can't be together, they can't hang out anymore. Now, when Hamlet visits Ophelia, she's frightened because he comes with his clothes in disarray, really, really messed up, he doesn't look his usual self. Also, he grabs her wrist and stares at her, so he acts in a completely different manner. And of course, this is part of what he calls his antic disposition, him feigning madness, okay? But of course here, the, the uh, Ophelia doesn't know that he's feigning madness, but also at some points he does actually look a little bit mad, but we're not entirely sure, okay? So, we see this really interesting exchange and this terse exchange and afterwards Ophelia goes to tell her father Polonius about Hamlet's actions and Polonius really pompously believes that Hamlet is acting in this way, acting mad because he's actually lovesick over Ophelia. So he, Polonius decides to take it upon himself to go and tell King Claudius, look your nephew, I believe he's acting really crazy because I told Ophelia they can't hang out anymore, therefore I think he's lovesick over her. Of course this is a really really great excuse for him to maybe ask the king to let Hamlet marry Ophelia and this will of course ensure that Polonius becomes even more powerful and influential at court. Now in scene two we learn that Gertrude separately decides to ask uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern who are two friends of Hamlet she decides to tell them that you know Hamlet has been acting really sad moody melancholic and of course he's acting melancholic he's just lost his father however she says to them please could you try to come over and cheer him up so Gil uh, Gertrude asks Guildenstern and Rosencrantz to just come and cheer Hamlet up separately Claudius and Polonius, so this is after Polonius has told Claudius about Hamlet's activity and his kind of madness, they decide to spy. So hopefully you're picking up on the theme of spying. Here Polonius decides to send Ronaldo to spy on his own son Laertes. However, separately, when Polonius learns about how Hamlet acted towards Ophelia, he and Claudius decide to hide and watch Hamlet speak to Ophelia. And whilst they're watching, they watch Hamlet basically telling Ophelia, being really horrible to Ophelia, and ultimately he tells her to go to a nunnery. In other words, he tells her that she needs to protect her virginity, she needs to protect her purity and chastity, and the best thing to do would go to live with sisters in a convent, in a nunnery. Now, in this scene also, Hamlet meets some travelling actors, and at first he asks them to perform one of his favourite speeches. After they do so, he asks them to come back the following night and he asks them to stage, to basically play out, the murder of Gazango on the next night. And of course, this play that they're going to be staging in front of everybody will actually be a reenactment of how somebody has betrayed the king and killed him by pouring poison in his ear, very similar to what the ghost of Hamlet told him about the way Claudius killed King Hamlet. Okay? Okay. So of course this is also another strategy that he wants to use in order to see if he can catch out his uncle.